God, I hate how copyright works because there's so many times I just want to play this game and like have it in the background, but then YouTube will be like, "Oh, you can't post this video. It's got third party content." Yeah, yeah. I always thought that was kind of you know. There's always people talking about whether or not it'll be important in the future, and I'm like, is it really like who listens to music when there's a bunch of StarCraft sounds in the background? Well, I mean, the argument can be easily made that it's like, oh, people are watching StarCraft because of the music or something. I mean, it's obviously not the case, but it's an argument that can be made. Ugh. Okay. You know, actually, copyright in general is stupid because I, I looked this up recently. I had no idea. It's it's actually had its duration extended like a hundred times. Well, that's not an accurate amount, but like it used to be supposed to be like 15 years and then like it was 30 years in your lifetime then four times your lifetime or something like that now. It's pretty insane. But uh, anyways, that aside, cool story, Rifkin. We find ourselves in game number three of this best of seven. It's the Money Peak Showmatch series. Ladies and gentlemen, this whole event, combined with past events, is brought to you by a combination of subscribers on Base Trade TV as well as donations uh, from generous people to put on these awesome show matches. And it's worth noting this one was actually put together because someone donated specifically during the NSL finals for Snoot, saying, I want to see Snoot play more. So good guy Snoot says, I will play more, and we find him in this match. So let's actually introduce him first in the lower location, the six o'clock spawn. The Red Zerg player from Team Liquid, Liquid Snoots. And in the middle right, as the blue Terran, it is Liquid Bunny. Now, to explain a comment I made last time, because it was uh, actually asked in chat several times, guys. Uh, Zerg, or not Zerg, Mules, we all know they get benefit from mining. They mine more on normal mineral patches. They used to also mine more from gold mineral patches. But they treat gold mineral patches the same as a blue mineral patch now. So when you mule a gold base, it's really not that big of a deal. I mean, yeah. it's still good. It's free mining. <laughs> Don't get me wrong. I'm just saying, like, effectively, you want to put those up blues and, like, have a CVs on golds type thing. Yeah, if you weren't there for when they did not have that, oh when my they God. thought that gold was gold, it's pretty good. Yeah, it was awesome. You would just drop, like, 11 mules and suddenly that gold base is mined out and you're good to go for the next five minutes with a bank. <laughs> Yeah. But of yeah. course, that was a little overpowered. Let's be honest. That was, so. uh, oh man, you how you haven't brought it back? Did you bring it back Antigua Shipyard? No, I actually, you know what? I specifically wrestled with that one. That's the one Metropolis took the place of. Because on one hand, I'm like, there's gold bases, there's not gold bases. But like, Antigua just kind of, it was a bland map. And I, I honestly don't remember ever casting a game no. on that map where I was like, that was super epic. It's bland because it was during the bland period of Wings of Liberty. Let's all be honest here later stages of Wings Liberty was not that fun. But, like, as the map itself... Oh, it seemed okay. I'd like to see it with well, a metagame that's not Brutal and Fester. Maybe we'll put that in the next show match then. I mean, like, again, I kind of yeah. wrestled with it and I was just kind of like... The only the only game I remember on that map was when Dragon built, like, 40 command centers or something stupid. He was trolling. Like, that's literally the only game in my mind. Because, like, I don't know about you guys. Like, I'd love to hear your thoughts, like, obviously, put on YouTube, I guess, or reply in the comments. But, like, when you watch StarCraft 2, it's like... Do you have those moments where you're like, okay, this map is cool, but I remember this one specifically epic game on that map? Because I've got that for, like, every map, pretty much. I got one that I played on that map, um, where it was, like, went down to, like, no bases, you well, know? I and I I started, like, dropping ghosts everywhere to try EMPs and festers because you had, like, three broodlords and three infestors. Well, I'm not talking yeah. specifically in T, guys. I just mean, like, generic, like, I remember my favorite games on, like, Neo Planet S. I remember my favorite ones on, like, Alter Zeme and such, like... There, there are some bland maps out there, sure, but there's always you're gonna have something fun. Uh, now this yeah. bunker become funny actually, pretty darn early. We'll keep these links out. But uh, well, we went for 14 CC, I believe. So yeah, well, so there's no Reaper. Well, that's the thing I was gonna point out. Like playing super defensive, I think this is the first time in any game today we have our Terran player into playing really. Uh, I guess. Yeah, uh, Ryung always went for something that you know was aggressive, either the typical Reaper or something else, but not a 14 CC. This is something you may be able to get away with, though, because, I mean, you got the debris field. Normally, this oh, is, yes. course, like... Did, did this, I'm trying to remember. Did this map always have the debris field? I kind of feel like they added this later. But it's been so long, I actually can't remember off the top of my head. I actually don't remember any complaints about this map's natural. I think they always, always, always there. Yeah. Because then, you know, it would have been the Protoss is complaining. <laughs> <laughs> actually, you know what? Uh, one thing I like about Bunny, though, consistency. We're going to have uh, Banshee coming out again. Oh, God, no. Oh, second factor. He's gonna go blue flame in a mech, isn't he? Oh, On this that? map. Ooh, ooh, that could actually be really cool. My eyes just got all wide because, <laughs> I mean, okay. For those who don't know how blue flame works versus Zerg, first off, a he saw in the last game that Snoot was kind of, I don't want to say weak, but unprepared for like that sort of earlier on aggression. Like he didn't have a full wall off until later on after everything was happening. This, and that's well, this that's is a, dangerous. 
Snoop to for fast meters. Ooh. That's what she was gonna call yeah. it. If he does go blue flame, it's almost a build order counter right there, but uh, kind of not unlike roaches in ZBZ. Like, if you get there in time before the Mutals are really ready to do a ton of damage, like, the Blue Flame will still get kills. It'll get cleaned up, but it will still get kills. Good point. But the problem is that if he follows it up with Mech, he will not have an armory in time for any anti-air. He will literally be pumping Marines one Marine at a time from that barracks. Well, actually, I, uh, I kind of don't like the bunny still going with this. He just saw the wall off. I mean, this is how you beat Blue Flame, just straight up. Period. You the, the, the Blue Flame... As long as they don't know what's coming and they don't have a spine crawler behind it, you can beat the two queens. That's true, but I mean, like, if if, if Snoop catches wind of this even a little bit, all he does is build a third evolution chamber and he's done. <laughs> oh, well, there you go. He built a roach horn, so he got something from it. Oh, he's going for roaches after going for a fast spire. Interesting build. I, I think it's because he's worried about these aliens a little more than I think. Oh, he's getting. Oh, he's getting both. Oh, okay. That's not even a care, but it's also a melee plus one missile. Interesting. He may oh, it's Banshee. I think this is like. I don't think it's a misclick. I think that's him trying to choose, like, all right, if this doesn't work, then I'll go for that type thing. Cancels both, though. Oh, it's a fake. That's what it is. He's trying to say, I I'm not getting uh, this, you know. Oh, I'm God. Even without Blue Flame. The, the, the Banshee already saw the Spire, so. <sighs> Roads to drones already, and this is this is just normal Hellings, guys. Blue Flame's going to kick in in a few seconds. Oh, and the Hellings are coming. He needs a wall off. He needs the wall off. Queen, go do your job. Oh, they're coming. I think he thinks he's did enough. Like he, that's that's your first six hellions, right? Oh. But here comes some more. Drone is yeah. gonna try to roll off, but not gonna be afforded the opportunity. Blue flame now kicking in. That's extra damage on these hellions. And well, unfortunately, the links are still able to kind of suicide into them. The drones are gonna go down that much faster. And that's that many yeah. fewer hellions you need to be effective. Student some trouble on his natural mineral line. Bunny getting Ooh. a huge lead right now. Oh nothing my god. Nothing can do. There's literally there's nothing. Roaches, he can wait roaches. for the roaches, but yeah. the roaches will be killed by the banshee. Oh my god. The queens are out. There's no more queens. 29 workers killed, and it's not done yet. Uh, he's gonna suicide these to get a couple kills. But he goes for that. Why are you hitting the lair? Hit the drones. <laughs> well, those roaches actually were in a perfect position. Yeah. They pushed that Lucky. back, but Snoop Lucky. still took really heavy losses from this. And for he's Bunny. Still... Yeah. And he also had to turrets. buy. Nine turrets, zombie grove. He's wow, set okay. for anti-air. And he also got an armory, he's getting a Thor, um, you know, and Stu had to waste gas and money on roaches, so he doesn't even have as many meters, you know, probably would have had eight, as you would have. Um, yeah, so now we know what happens uh, in the case of at least scouting it, because if you didn't get a Banshee, let's think about that, if you didn't get a Banshee, just went straight blue flame, does he scout that Spire? Um, that's a good point. Like, that Spire information was key. Have you not, like, you might yeah. still instinctively throw down a couple turrets, but you don't put nine down. Like, this is <laughs> no. really important that he got this many. Yeah, so the Banshee finally does get cleaned up, but there's just, there's nothing Snoop can do. He just, his build is, is bad compared to what Bunny just did. It just can't do anything. Maybe find a hole somewhere? Where is there it's, a hole? But you know what? Like, Snoop is that guy who macros out of sticky situations. Right? Like, even last game, despite losing... He did the he was, first game. Or the first the game, I mean. Yeah, yeah exactly. Yeah. That's what I mean. I'm happy. yeah, so I mean, like... I, I wouldn't put him past him to try and find a way back into this, but he's playing against Mech. And this is one of the most difficult styles of Terran to play against. And a lot of it's because, let's, let's be honest, despite the fact that he's become more popular, it's still something there's not a lot of practice against. Like, nine times out of ten, it's Banelings, it's Zerglings, it's Mutalists, but... One thing mm. that does work effectively, and this is where I kind of have a smirk on my face, Swarm Hosts. And that is what Snoop yes. might not be... It might not be his favorite unit in the game, but it's the one he's had a lot of success with. Yep, Swarm Hosts, pretty obnoxious. The most obnoxious thing in the world is what Soul Key introduced, which thanks a lot. I don't even like you because of the whole innovation thing, but... Which was, like, go for a lot of mutas, and then go for Swarm Hosts, and then switch back. Yeah, actually, uh, uh, um, no. I hate that. Was it, uh, uh Hengelus did something similar to that recently versus Jakshi, and she ended up it's, beating him in a best of three. It's a very popular style. It's, it, it's so good, it makes me think that mech isn't viable. <laughs> I just want to cry, that's why I stopped going mech. It's but. so, like, but the reality is, like, whether you're going mech, whether you're going bio, Mutalists are going to be frustrating to deal with one way or another if you let them get I out mean, of control. I mean, yeah, they're already frustrating, but then you, then you're like, oh, I finally killed those, those mutas, he messed up somewhere, and they're like, JK. Like JK. 20 swarm most of the time. JK! <laughs> That's gonna like so select annoying. like some sun. You just put like JK and chat, like just tap out uh, or something. So annoying. The thing is though, is that Snoop can't do it. He might try this... as he's trying to still go for Mutalus because a lot of Mutalus does beat out Thors. Yeah, well, it's because um, Thors are like really clumsy and stupid. And yeah, his splash he just is really can't... limited. He can't afford it though. There's, there's no. Oh god, there's the no helmets are just walking in. Oh my here. god, the helmets are just walking in. Good <laughs> game. That's it. That's kind of the JK we were talking about. <laughs> 
Oh boy. All right. Well, Liquid Bunny will take it now, two to one, uh, securing a lead. But of course, being a best of seven, we've still got several games to play, guys.